Hi there, RVers. Today we're going to be taking a look at Valterra's RV sewer hose carrier with an adjustable length. My name is Mark with Keep Your Daydream, and we've been full-time RVing for over three years. And if you're on the RV, if you're RVing a lot, and you're driving down the road, you probably notice or seen uh, these sewer hoses, or what I call stinky slinkies, on the side of the road. And the reason that that happens is because a lot of RVers store them in the bumper on a on a travel trailer. They'll put them in their bumper, and then oftentimes the cap will come off. Now, when I move from a travel trailer to a fifth wheel, I notice that there's a bit of a vortex that happens and things that you put in the bed of your truck end up flying out, sewer hoses being one of them, and it's happened on two different occasions. Now, this is a Grand Design Momentum 399, and it actually came with one of these Valterra sewer hose containers right here, but because it's a 43-foot fifth wheel, it's not, I need a lot of, I need like four sewer hoses so that I can reach where the sewer is, depending on where it's placed at an RV park. So by adding another one of these, I can now carry four sewer hoses and not have to worry about storing them in the bed of my truck and falling out on the highway. This RV tube is going to allow you to store your gray or black water hoses inside, and this way you can keep them out of your compartments so you can keep the dirtiest parts up underneath your camper or RV. It has a door on each side that will give you access to it. There's a latch that closes it to keep it shut and it's adjustable in length between 50 and 94 inches. It's really a quick and easy installation. There are six bolts that's gonna attach it to the bottom of your frame. Now I will say the hardware that it came with are not self-tapping screws. They are just regular screws. So you could drill a hole and then try and run those in there, but they don't really seem like they're rated to go into a frame. So we did upgrade our hardware to self-tapping screws. Well, you just take your self-tapping screw, run it through the frame there. Now, if you had something softer like wood underneath here, you could use the provided screws. Since it's adjustable, there is a middle brace where the two pieces separate for the length, and you'll want to mount that one as well in a similar manner. You can see we've got our middle support brace here mounted to an existing bracket. We just use the self-tapping screws just like we did on our outer braces. Since they're so easy to install, go ahead and pick up as many as you need. If you're like Mark and you need more than one, go ahead and install them side by side. And now if security is an issue, there is a loop here where you could put a small padlock on it. And that completes our look at Valterra's RV sewer hose carrier with an adjustable length.